What's your favorite scary movie? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video I'm so excited to make because I think everyone knows by now I absolutely love the Scream franchise. So if you are new here at the channel and you love movie content, Blu-ray trips, and award season, hit that red subscribe down below. You're not going to want to miss anything. So let's get right into the ranking. One through four. Which one do you think is going to be at the bottom? I think we all know this. For me, it's Scream 3. Now, why is that at the bottom? Well, the number one reason, I think it went too big. Setting it in Hollywood, having movie stars and big locations just did not work for this franchise. I think this franchise does best when you're in a small town, it's very quiet, you're focused on high schoolers. I think that's a winning formula for any horror genre or film. Scream 3, it did not work because when you are in Hollywood, come on. And then another reason is that the killer was so anticlimactic. To me, it really wasn't that creative. I'm sure the writer thought they were being creative, but it really was not that creative. And my biggest problem is that you can obviously tell with the third installment, it was not written by Kevin Williamson, who created this franchise. It's his story to tell. And when someone else stepped in for the third, it just did not work. All right, next up is Scream 2. Scream 2 was just like, all right. I guess it was the predictable next step from going to high school to college. But my biggest problem with Scream 2 is that the circumstances were just completely unbelievable. And I know with horror, you kind of have to put all logic aside. And yeah, it's it's supposed to be unbelievable. But these circumstances just felt completely unbelievable and out of the box. However, this movie did give us the epic Buffy kill. We all know what we're talking about. That scene right there where she's in the house, she's alone, and the killer comes in, chases her up the stairs, and throws her off the balcony. One of the best, best deaths in the franchise. I do have to give it that credit. But other than that, Scream 2 is probably the most forgettable, I would say. No one really remembers it. And then the killers were lame. Billy's mom, I don't know. I guess it was kind of expected and unexpected all at the same time. Yes, revenge plot, but really? A mom? All right, next up on the list in second place, which one do you think it is? Scream the original or Scream 4? Well, on my ranking, it is Scream 4. I actually really enjoyed this film. Kevin Williamson was back writing brilliantly, as much brilliance as you can have for the Scream franchise. However, he created this entire thing. He knows these characters. He knows how to specifically write with humor and these little nuances that only he can do. And that was full on back in the fourth entrance of this franchise. And I was highly entertained by this. It was back in the small setting that I wanted it to be in Sydney Prescott's hometown. We are focused back on teenagers. And then the killers wanting to do this all because they want to be famous. Brilliant. Obviously, in the number one spot for me is the original Scream movie. Now, when this came out, I believe in 94 to 96 area, I was in high school, 14 to 16 years old. And I didn't really want to go and see this. My friends dragged me to the theater to go and watch it. And I actually ended up enjoying myself because of the brilliant way that Kevin Williamson balanced the humor along with the horror that never really was quite done before or should I say, wasn't really done quite as well. I really enjoy how in this first installment, we're in a small town. It's extremely relatable. And I think the scariest thing that you think is while you're watching this is that this could happen to anybody. And the way, that's just brilliant to me. It's just brilliant. And also, you don't know who the killer is. In other horror franchises, Michael Myers. Yeah, he wears a mask, but we know who it is. It's Michael Myers. 
in the um, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's Freddy Krueger. We know it's Freddy Krueger. He's, you know, messed up looking, but we know it's Freddy Krueger. In the Scream movies, we don't know who the killer is. It could literally be anybody. So not only do you have a horror movie mixed with comedy, but it's also kind of like a murder mystery. Because as we know, during the entire movie, you've most likely seen the killer on the screen, but you don't exactly know who it is. So you're busy trying to put all those pieces together and you think you know who it is. And then that brilliant twist ending, <sighs> you can't get any better than that. So this has been my ranking of the Scream franchise. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Please let me know down in the comments, what did you think of my ranking? And do you agree with me? Or do you think another one is better? Please let me know down below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.